Hey everybody, welcome back to Journey with Jackie. I am excited. I have a couple of things I want to share with you today. First thing is, um, if you haven't seen it or you did not get a chance to join me on Instagram, I shared and revealed what my top four fragrances are that I did as part of the perfume challenge with uh, Mr. Cologne 76. It was just such a phenomenal, fantastic, wonderful experience. I'm just so grateful um, and just feel privileged and honored that he asked me um, to be a part of something new that he was trying were fragrances I had never heard of before, have never been exposed to before, did not know the brand. Um, and one of the bottles I've sort of seen around in certain shops, um, but the other three I would have never been exposed to unless maybe I went abroad or something and, and was able to un uncover it. And based on one of the names on the bottles, I definitely wouldn't have tried it, specifically because of the name. You would not have think it would have the name reflected on how beautiful the scent is because it was a, a beautiful soft fragrance and the name was opposite. The name was called Pirates. <laughs> so it was just absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna link all four scents below for you guys and I'm actually gonna link to you where you actually can purchase these scents because I actually am going to purchase these three of the four fragrances I'm going to purchase from one um, perfume house. So I'll include that information for you below as well. So without further delay, let me get right into it. I am going to, in this video, introduce to you the new Gucci lipsticks that just came out. I'm gonna share with you also the most exciting thing that happened to me and I'm actually gonna show it to you. So, recently was in New York City and stopped into Saks and specifically I wanted to see this new line because I've seen it written up in uh, several of the main magazines talking about the new Gucci lipstick. So I wanted to see it for myself. And I'm so glad that I stopped in to see it because I know originally the Gucci makeup line was uh, developed by Pat McGrath. So they no longer have that makeup line. So this is all new. And the only things they have so far are just lipsticks. And they're going to eventually um, venture into other areas, she said. But before I show you the lipsticks that I bought, let me share with you a quick introduction about the new lipstick line. Hey guys, so here at Gucci, we are rolling out our new collection, 58 new shades of lipsticks. We have satins, sheers, and balms. They are the new vision of Alessandro Michele, our artistic director here at Gucci. And he has created a collection that really redefines beauty and really encompasses everyone in their true state of beauty. Everyone is beautiful and it just helps to show that off to the world. So that was Ashley, you guys. Hello, Ashley. Ashley also recently subscribed to my channel and Ashley works at the Gucci makeup counter in Saks on Fifth Avenue in New York City. So I actually purchased a balm and I purchased three of the lipsticks. So the packaging for the satin lipsticks come in this beautiful gold tube. So that's what the satin stains are gonna look like. And then the balm is gonna come in this beautiful floral tubing. Very pretty, right? The balm to me reminds me very similar of um, Pat McGrath's line that I shared with you guys. And, and I know Chanel, Chanel makes a, um, a lip balm as well. So it's a very, very, very sheer color coverage, but that's gonna give you a tinge bit of color. Um, but most importantly, it's gonna be hyd hydrating for you. And although this color looks bright, you're gonna see it. I'm gonna put it on for you and it's not, you're gonna see it's super sheer. So it's very sheer. Sorry about that. And I'm actually gonna show you now the four different colors that the bomb comes in. They're very, very, very nice. I actually tried on a couple different ones. And even if you just buy the clear, um, for hydrating and as Ashley said you could put it on before or after um, but uh, so those are the four colors <clears throat> that the um, balm comes in so this is the one color and um, and I will list the color that I actually purchased down below for you 
But here are the lipstick colors. So I went with, surprise, surprise. I went with um, a pink neutral day, a pink neutral night, and a, here it is, drum roll, where is it? And a wild card, the one that Ashley picked for me. So for, I'm gonna, and I will link them below. I will say it's really hard to tell. I know it is from the camera, but, and, and on camera, they're probably gonna look super, super similar. But this is the one for day. This is the one for night. And Ashley just basically said, you know how, especially at night, you wanna wear a neutral lip so you'll make your eyes more um, darker, um, you know, more, yeah, more dark, deeper tone colors on your eyes and keeping your your cheeks and lip neutral. So that's what this one is for. So I thought that would give that a try. And uh, this one is just another pinky nude for the day. And I, I definitely know that pink works well for my skin tone. And as much as I try to get away from the pink, I try really, really hard. And Ashley will tell you, I try really, really hard. But every time I do, the pinks just look better. And so here is my wild card. And it is... Oh, wrong one. And here is the wild card. It's pretty, right? I know, so out of character for me, but I will tell you, don't let the cameras fool you. I am gonna put it on for you though. So on my skin tone, you can see it's very vibrant and pretty. And the cameras is making it <clears throat> a little brighter than it is, but when I put it on, it really looked beautiful, especially I'm thinking um, <clears throat> a summer day, summer night, and as Ashley said, just keeping everything else simple, keeping my cheeks simple, keeping my eyes simple and neutral and letting the, the lips pop. You guys, but I actually uh, insert a picture for you right now. It's called the um, Valentine Fuchsia. So that was a Gucci lipstick. So now I'm gonna share with you two last things. My pocketbook or handbag that I decided to rock all week was my, my Chanel, um, pouch bag as I guess you would say. I just wasn't in the mood to carry a large handbag. I think I carried my crossbody maybe one day, but I was in a mood based on some of the things that I was doing today or, or during the course of the week um, to carry something light and just in my hand. And so I decided just to pull this guys out. And I know you saw this recently when I went through my um, Chanel collection review, but um, so this is what I decided to carry today. And as a reminder, it is just the Chanel pouch that has no pockets on the inside it's just one little opening there and uh and so basically so that was my favorite handbag for the week now i'm going to share with you last thing and that is the most exciting thing that happened to me and that is my beautiful beautiful niece paris asked me to decorate her room. And so I had the privilege of doing that this week. So I am gonna share with you now a before and after. So here it is. So Paris's before, she had a dark green room with a mostly white or off-white furniture and she wanted the opposite color. She basically just said, I don't want any color on the walls, I want white. So instead of giving her completely white walls, I just went with more of a, a neutral, um, taupey, creamy, tan palette. Still kept all her trim white. We added the curtains and then completely changed her room around so it felt like everything was like a new experience when she walked in. So we changed where the headboard was, we changed the uh, wall in which her TV was on, we moved that to a different wall. And so basically at the end of the day, <clears throat> We, and we also added curtains. And so she still wanted to have that element of feminine with a lot of pink still in the room. And so to do that, I added the pink curtains trim with the little white pom-poms on the side. So that tied in the pink and the white. And then I tried to bring in still different layers and elements of the pink. And at the end of the day, all of the furniture is basically 
the same furniture. All the room needed was just some of the major accessories bought and did this on a very, very, very small budget. And so at the end of the day, it is definitely possible to give your room a new feel by simply simply changing the layout of the room. And the biggest expense was the having um, electrical person come change the TV from the, the, the switch it to two different walls because I actually had to have an electrician uh, and change the cable. So that was the biggest expense, but that gave her the opportunity to change the layout of the room and to make it feel different. Definitely can change how your room feels and make it feel like it's a new experience without purchasing all brand new furniture. And it's like simply by just changing the, the layout of the room and, and switching out maybe some of the accessories. And it definitely, if you wanna try that going into the summer to kind of give it more of a summer feel by changing your colors of your pillows and your bed linens, um, you know, definitely doing that and then changing the room around. So we did it on a small budget. She absolutely loved it. She was so sweet. She actually wrote this note um, and, and gave it to me the other day. So um, Paris, I'm so happy that you like your room. It was such an honor um, that you asked me to do it. And I really, really hope you like it. But according to your letter, you do. So I love you very much. And so that is the end of my quick video for today, you guys. I hope you like it. We'll love to see some of your comments, to see what questions you have for me. Um, I just really hope everyone has a fantastic upcoming week. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the constant feedback and support on my Instagram and right here on my YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed before you leave me today, make sure you do that right there, right there on the left. So I appreciate it. Have a fabulous one, you guys, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye-bye.